Hey guys, it's Adi, and this tutorial is going to teach you how to use the co-op mod for Jet Set Radio Future, specifically using CXBX, so that you're able to do runs on the co-op leaderboard here. Right now, there's not any tutorials, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make one for the guys, and uh, yeah. If you're using an Xbox, um, I don't know how to set that up, so you're going to want to have to contact the moderators or the modders in the Jet Set Radio Future speedrunning Discord. Uh, they're going to be able to help you. Uh, I don't know how to do that, so sorry. <laughs> but I will show you how to do it on CXBX. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this that you already have CXBX set up and that you've already played Jet Set on it and know how to do all that. But if you don't, then you can check the Jet Set Radio Future Speedruns website. And there's a little guide to show you how to do it. If you still have trouble, contact the guys at the Discord once again. I have a file that has all the things you're going to need in it, a zip file. Um, looks kind of like this. And we're going to go over that here in a second, but go ahead and download that. Um, if you're having trouble with getting your co-op partners to connect, there's going to be a troubleshooting guide here at the end of the video. Um, but once again, if for some reason you still can't get it to work, then let the guys on the Discord know and they'll probably be able to help you. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you need is Node.js. Uh, I have that also in the zip file, but if not, uh, I will have the website linked. So I've gotten all this info for Frosso Hydro, and it's worked for me and Pignickel to be able to connect. Um, having said that, <laughs> I don't know if there's other versions of Node.js that'll work or whatever, but this is the one that he told us to get. It's the one that's worked for us, so I have it highlighted here. It's also in the zip file, so just run that MSI, install it, and then once you've got that, the way to actually do runs is you have to run some things in a certain order. So the first thing we need to do is we got to open up the game, and you're going to want to open up the Molt B2 XBE, go ahead and start it. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little different than the regular game. It's got a thing that says not connected, um, and that just means I'm not connected yet. So whenever I am connected, that's going to change to, say, ready. Um, so the next thing is now that we have the game open, you want to go into this multi-bridge section of that zip file that I gave you and run the start.bat. So you should see something like this once it's started. That means it's like seeing the game. So at this point, you're going to want to go to a website. So you can just like leave this up, minimize it, like put it wherever. Just it doesn't matter as long as it's running. Go to this uh, website here and I'll have that linked in the description. But it's the site where like the, the hosting is going to happen. So, uh, I need to connect my game. So, I hit connect game, and then if I look, it now says ready. So, that means it's at least talking to it. So, now this is connected, so we're going to hit, I'm going to say, like, I'm acting like the host, right? So, I'm going to hit listen. And what this does is creates a URL in which you will copy this and then send it to whoever is going to connect to you for that specific session. This URL is going to change each time that you boot this up. Uh, so you can't just like set this and like be like, oh yeah, just join that next time. Because unfortunately it changes. But it's not that hard to you know just send it to them on Discord or whatever. So... Now that you've got your side ready, you're listening for your co-op partners, they should be able to click this, and then they will see a site similar. It looks like this. And they should be able to hit connect, and then it will connect to your side. And once that happens, you'll see something down here pop up. So... Right now, I have me, and it doesn't have anything, you know, um, uninitialized, like whatever. 
whenever your co-op partner shows up, it'll say that there's like two players and another player will show up right here. And that means they've actually connected. Once you both are connected, there's a couple things you want to change. This character tick rate, you want to change to six from 60. And then here you can input your gamer tag or whatever you're going to use and it'll change it so that you can see where you are um it tells you like where you are in the game so for example if i'm in dogen Zaka hill it's going to say i'm in dogen if i'm in shibuya it's going to say shibuya etc cetera, etc cetera. that helps for the run because you're able to see where each other are um but yeah this just kind of shows like who's doing what so at this point you're basically good to go um you would just go in hit new game start it and you're you're off you're good However, this is where <laughs> me and Pignickel had a lot of trouble, and this is where I'm going to talk about some troubleshooting that you may potentially need to do. So one thing is if for some reason you're just not getting any connection here, there's another site you can go to, which is what this is based off of from what I know. And you can just check to see if you're even like able to talk to each other at all without the game like being a part of the equation. This is just like, hey, can I connect to you? <laughs> so I'll have this linked. Um, you go in here, hit receive, and then take this ID number. You'll copy it and then go to the site, whoever the other par partner is in this equation. <laughs> you'll go in here and hit connect and then it should say connected to. And at this point you can just start sending messages and you can see, I saw it on the other end as well. So you should be able to do this. And if you can't, that means something's wrong. Um, and this is where we were having trouble because we weren't even getting here. So I worked with phosphohydro twinkachu seven days, uh, and then just try to do research myself to figure out like what the heck's going on. We did know that Pignicle is at a college right now and Phosphohydro was having the same issue with Twinkachu um, due to colleges, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to like change anything router wise. You're not going to be able to change any ports, et cetera, because I mean, they obviously lock that down from students being able to do that. So Phosphohydro figured out with the help of AcePats, if you use a VPN, it bypassed some of that security, I guess you we would say, and was able they were then able to connect to each other. So um we tried that and that wasn't the initial fix, but we still need to use a VPN. There was just other things as well. So try a VPN. That could be it. Not saying that is it. Could be it. If you're at a college specifically, that's probably it. <laughs> the next thing is you may need to open or port forward port 443. Uh, port 443 is just the HTTPS port, the secure port. Um, it says right here, it's the standard port for HTTPS. TPS traffic, um, and because the site is technically using HTTPS, that is probably why. You might be able to get away with using HTTP. I've never tried that. That might be a solution to part of this issue. I don't know. Uh, just worth a shot, though. But if that doesn't work, um, opening this port on your router and or in the Windows firewall could do the trick because that's what did the trick for our situation in particular. If you don't know how to port forward, um, just look up whatever kind of router brand you have. There will be a tutorial somewhere on the internet, like guaranteed, if not from the manufacturer themselves on how to do it. Um, but just open up that port and or um, do it in the Windows firewall. I also have a, um, in the description, there's a command prompt firewall port opener text. So just, th just you could throw that in there and it'll open it for you. Otherwise, you, you'll want to go into the Windows firewall and do it yourself. Uh, but yeah, 
that's those are the things that we tried and that's what worked for us uh not saying that that's like exactly how to do it but um yeah hopefully that works for you like i said if you have questions i would ask the guys in the discord i'm not going to be the end all be all (laughs) knowledge here because i found out secondhand from the mods of the game so anyways hope this works hope to see you guys doing some co-op runs soon and we'll talk to you later